Hi Mamas, Carla Rose here, Pre and Postnatal Specialist. Today I want to talk to you about sciatic pain during pregnancy and how you can alleviate some of that pain. But firstly I want to talk to you about the difference between sciatic pain and low back pain. As soon as I run you through a couple of the symptoms, you're going to know straight away. So firstly, lower back pain usually sits as a band just here between your lower back and the top of your glutes. So you'll feel it as sitting on a band. Sometimes you can pop your fingers exactly where the pain is coming from. And sometimes it's coming from, if you put your thumbs on, the, on your lower back, you've got two bones here kind of sticking out. Sometimes it's coming from just outside. And that can cause a lot of pain in the lower back. Sciatic pain, however, comes from your lower back, but it will start shooting down one part of your leg. So it will shoot down the back of your leg all the way down the back of your leg and can sometimes go all the way to the floor, so to your heel. And it will be a very sharp pain and you'll feel sometimes some tingling, some numbness. But you'll definitely feel it because it will go all the way from here, shooting down towards the back of your leg. So what causes sciatic pain? Sciatic pain is caused by compression, shortness, and irritation in the sciatic nerve. Your sciatic nerve comes from your lower back and your lumbar spine. You've got five different areas to which the root sciatic nerve comes from. So that's five different points in your body which could be irritated, compressed, compromised. You usually have layers of muscle that, that cover the, the sciatic nerve. And this layers of muscle can also be tight and compressed especially during pregnancy. Let's look at a pregnant woman's body. So as you can see here, I'm 25 weeks. My belly is coming out, which is causing my center of gravity to pull me forward. This is causing my hips to tilt forward and create a little bit of a little curve in my lower back, but it's shortening the muscles. So the center of gravity is pulling me forward, my hips are tilting forward, and it's shortening my lower back muscles here, which is compressing them. What I want is I want nice lengthened muscles. But what's happening because of the way that my body sits throughout the day is I'm getting that compression in my, in my lower back and in my piriformis as well. So your piriformis is really important when it comes to sciatic, uh, sciatic pain. Your piriformis sits right here on your, on your glutes and it can also be compressed because of the way that your posture is during pregnancy. There's various different solutions and you can do a couple of them from, from the comfort of your own home. So firstly, I would advise not to wear heels. Wearing heels further pulls that center of gravity forward and will shorten and compress, irritate those muscles as you walk. Number two, you want to lengthen those muscles uh, that, that you're kind of covering a little bit of a couple of stretches that you can do at home that lengthen out those muscles, especially the piriformis and the glutes. I'm going to show you how to do that. Number three, you want to work on your posture. Okay, so you don't want to be constantly pushing, pushing out like this, allowing that center of gravity to control you. So you can focus on doing some um, exercises that will help you in your posture in pregnancy, which is always good for, for during the pregnancy, but also after the baby is born. Number four, you can do some breath work. Breath work is great to release tension because if we've got tight um, muscles and, and ligaments bound up like a wall, you want to help release that and breath work is a great way to release tension in your muscles. The first exercise I suggest you do is a 90-90 stretch. So just getting onto the floor, you're going to bring your, your front leg into a nice 90 degree angle so that your knee lines up with your heel and your back leg is in a 90 degree angle as well. Keep your shoulders back and down, so don't let them hunch over like so. Make sure they're externally rotated back and down and keep your hips as aligned as possible. All you're gonna do here is you're gonna pull through the hips, okay? So you're not gonna come down here onto your elbows because that's gonna do nothing for your lower back. You wanna keep your low back up and extended. Post that right hand here onto your side at a nice diagonal angle and just pull your chest forward, pulling through the hips, keeping that back fully extended. So you can come up, post that arm again, pull forward, pull forward, keeping your chest upright, keeping your shoulders back and down and making sure the lower back is nice and extended. Exercise number two. So coming into a seated position on the floor, both legs fully extended. You're gonna be stretching the, the leg that you wanna stretch, the one with all the pain in it, 
You're going to bring it and you're going to bend it. Pull it over your fully extended leg and put your foot flat onto the ground. Grab your arm and pull your knee in towards your chest as much as your bum will allow, depending on what stage you are in your pregnancy. Post your left hand down, pull your shoulder back and down, sit upright. And here, you can just slowly look over your left shoulder. You're gonna feel the stretch nicely here, pulling all the way around um, into that butt. Now just be wary that when you're pregnant, you might have other aches and pains in your back. So don't over twist at all. And if you do feel any other aches and pains, just stop, the stretch might not be for you. Your final exercise is a seated figure four stretch. So sitting down onto a chair with your back nice upright, shoulders back and down. Put both legs onto the ground and take the leg that you wanna stretch, the leg that you're feeling pain in, and bring it up, placing it on your knee. So your ankle is gonna go onto your knee. That foot is nice and flat. Keeping your body upright, you're just gonna come forward, leaning forward here, bringing the chest forward as well. So similar to the 1990 stretch, you wanna pull your, your chest forward, keep your back fully extended, so your lower back fully extended, and pull forward with the hips. So if I do that one from the side for you, you are here, you are pulling forward, so leaning into the stretch, keeping your chest upright, your lower back nice and extended. So there you have it guys, quick exercises that you can do at home to help alleviate that pain. Pain is your body's way of telling you that something's not right and it, sh it should be corrected. Of course, during pregnancy, we always work as a team. So go ahead and check in with your doctor or your physio to check that everything is going all right as well. Thanks for joining. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, comment so I know that the content is is hitting the spot.